We just got a report that we're receiving a five-year-old child with difficulty breathing. So the first thing I like to do when I know a child's coming in is get all the equipment ready that I might need to take care of that child. So when someone's having difficulty breathing, we know we're going to put them on a monitor. We know we're going to need um, a pulse oximeter. Um, with trouble breathing, they may need oxygen, so um, pediatric nasal cannula or a simple mask. You can always use your Braslow tape. That will give you an idea of the size of equipment you're going to need for the age of that child. Also, do keep a reference available that lists all the normal vital signs for children by age. The EMSC card is a great resource. Make sure you keep that with you at all times. It will become your best friend when you're dealing with children. You're going to want to use your pedi or pediatric or patient assessment triangle. When you see that patient, the first thing you want to do is look to see what their appearance is. How do they look when you first lay eyes on them? That can tell you if they're sick or not sick. Second, you want to look at their breathing. Are they audibly wheezing? Do they have any retractions? Are they tripod positioning? And then you want to look at circulation. You want to see if they have any cyanosis. Um, do they have good capillary refill? Do they have circumoral cyanosis? All of those things are going to tell you a little bit about that child's work of breathing. Um, if the child's oxygen saturation is below 92%, you're going to want to put um, oxygen on with either a na the nasal cannula or a simple mask. And that's a little scary for kids, so you may want to use the parents as a resource. Let the child sit on the parent's lap. If they're on mom's lap, they tend to be a little less scared, and that will give you a better chance to look at their breathing, to see if they're retracting, to take a good listen to them, to check their capillary refill. Her appearance is normal, but her work of breathing is slightly increased with some mild retractions and tripod positioning. And the circulation to her skin is a little cyanotic with the appearance of a little blue around her mouth. Hi, Maddie. My name's Tanya. I'm a nurse here in the emergency room, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. Do you like Polly Pocket? Oh, Maddie, you look like you're working awfully hard to breathe. I have a little light here that I'm going to put on your finger. This is going to check your oxygen. So that's my little Band-Aid. These are my stickers. There's three of them. I'm going to put one right up here. I'll put one right over here. And then one goes on your belly. Right down here. Your oxygen is a little bit low, Maddie. It's only 87. I'm going to put the head of your bed up and put a mask on your face that's going to give you a little bit of oxygen that's going to help you breathe. Okay. Let me take a listen to you. Maddie, your lungs sound a little bit wheezy, so I'm going to have the doctor come in and take a look at you, and then we might have to give you a little albuterol treatment. It's a mask just like this, but there's some mist in it, and it will help you breathe a little better and get rid of that wheezing. Does that sound okay? Good. Okay. You feeling a little bit better with the oxygen on? Okay. We can make you feel 